What's up, you guys? So you've been asking how I do my live streams. Well, it's actually pretty simple. I've resorted to using an app called Switcher Studio. It's for iOS devices, and I'm using several of my iPhones as camera angles and then connecting them to the Switcher Studio app on my iPad to do some great looking live streams with switched camera angles. This app is truly amazing and it also allows you to bring in audio from your audio interface or mixer board right into the live stream. So I'm gonna show you how to connect all of it up in Switcher Studio and how to dial in your audio interface to get great sounding audio into your live streams. So join me here in my studio. Let's get an epic live stream going. So I'm here with Switcher Studio with my grand piano, and I wanna show you some really cool things about this program. So first off, this could receive up to nine inputs. So if you got nine iPhones or iPads laying around, you could hook them up and you could use them as camera angles. So what I have now uh, shooting this angle is my iPhone 10. And filming this screen right here, this is my iPhone 13. And so as you could see now, here's a couple of inputs, and I also have another iPhone 10, as you could see in this pane here, and I could switch to it. So there's that one. So I have three angles all together and a screen capture from my PC uh, with the console app using my Apollo Twin. Really quick, um, this camera angle is set up and you could control the parameters for exposure, white balance, uh, image stabilization, and you can lock the autofocus when it goes live. So just let's look at the screen here. And everything is set to auto, but if I wanted to, um, you know, manually work with the exposure, as you could see, once I pressed manual, it has a subset of options here to control the ISO and the shutter speed. So maybe my face is, a, there's some hot spots there. I could lower the ISO a little bit. And this is the preview pane right here. So every time it goes to the right, that's the live pane. So I'm just natively recording without live streaming, but this app also lets you record and live stream at the same time. So I dialed that in. What else could I do? The white balance looks okay, so I will lock it in place. You could also use a calibration uh, thing there, a gray card if you want. So that angle looks good. Uh, let's switch to this angle. So this situation here, as you could see, let's just go bounce to my view here. It's a little bright, so I'm gonna adjust the exposure, turn the exposure down by working with the ISO, and then I can match it to the other shots. So I could go between here and here and it, it looks pretty good. I'm liking it. Maybe I'll just lower it a little bit more here. And there you go. So you see that cross dissolve there? That uh, is the transitions, and you could do, oh, you could basically do anything you want. We have cross dissolves, um, fades, so I could try a fade, um, a star wipe. <laughs> A push, <laughs> isn't that cool? I mean, this program does all of it. I mean, it's it's really, really amazing. Like these, th these are just top notch. And I mean, you could custom design uh, any swipe or transition by just pushing here, <laughs> going here, and look at all the assets you could have. You could download your logo, the transition duration, I mean, it, it really gets involved, so, so that, that's, the, that's the point there. So these are some really fun things you could do with Switcher Studio, and the really main selling point is automated switching. So if I'm playing piano and I want these three angles to switch, I could just go down here, and I could click here, and I want all my devices to switch every Say, let's see, every four seconds, we'll do, I'll do a little bit of piano playing and you'll get the idea. And keep in mind that um, it's gonna be a nice cross dissolve. That'll be the transition. You could shuffle these shots up. 
right? Ah, I'm getting shuffled up here. You could shuffle them up so they'll play out of order, or if you're not, if not, you could just have them play in order here, um, as in the list here. So let me play a little bit, and I'm going to press go on the auto switch and see how it looks. So that was my piano there, and you're probably wondering about how to get good audio into the live stream with this iPad. It's super simple. I'm using my Apollo Twin, and from the Apollo Twin's monitor outputs and back, I'm routing it from a quarter inch cable to XLR mail. And then that X, the quarter inch to XLR male cable is connected to my Henry Audio little box there, the blue box. And then that has an output, an RCA output. And from the RCA output, I'm connecting it uh, with a Behringer U-Control UCA202 audio interface, $20 to $30 little box there. And from there, it converts the signal to USB. And then from USB, I have a USB to lightning adapter that goes right here in my iPad. And I think you could see that right here. And that's how I'm getting the audio in. As you could see, I'm looking at my VU meters. So when I do an audio test, I'm not trying to blow out the levels. So yeah, it's really intuitive, really easy. And as you could see with how I got my Apollo Twins set up, I have three microphones on the piano plus the one I'm talking into, so that's four. Um, the Apollo Twin only has two inputs, but I've expanded it uh, with the optical cable into an eight-channel Focusrite mic preamp. Not sure if they still make these, but Behringer makes one for around over 200 bucks, so if you want to get an extra eight, in, eight channels into your Apollo interface uh, through the optical cable, that's perfectly fine. That's what I'm doing here. And as you could see, I have a simple reverb unit on the stereo pair here of my mics. And that's pretty much it. You could add everything you want. The Apollo uh, plugins are extremely low latency, and that's what makes it really fun. We did transitions. We have an audio source. You see all the audio signals coming in. And... Um, you could also bring remote guests, so it's browser-based. You could do an invite. They could click the link, and it'll show on their webcam, and it'll show up as an angle in here, which is really cool. So that's another um, thing you could do. And also the broadcasting part, you could link your Facebook or YouTube account or do a custom RTMP if you desire. Uh, then you could save natively and record everything every camera angle and the composite uh, switched angles and everything all in one. And you could uh, define if you want it 4K or HD, uh, crank the bit rate up. And also you could do uh, the Wi-Fi camera communication. If you have a slow router or your connection's not good, you could introduce a one second delay, which I have here, which gives more time for buffering and will be smoother overall. So, um, that's how that works. And Switcher Studio is great for any creator or person who wants to live stream with ease of use. Now, the price is a little steep. It's over 400 a year. This is an annual subscription. You could also do a monthly subscription if you want. But for me, uh, time is of the essence, and I want to spend uh, very little time with all my technology. I want everything to work, so uh, this is worth it for me to spend the money on it. 
So if you're interested in using it, I'll have a link in the description to where it's uh, an affiliate link to where you could uh, try Switcher Studio. I think uh, a week free, a little trial. So check that out if you're interested. So um, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, this is Switcher Studio. Once again, I'll show you all the cool angles. And um, it's a great program. Uh, I definitely give it a try if this is uh, something you desire to give a, give a shot. So thanks so much, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.